Hi, my name is Rick Gentile. I'm the product manager for the Phased Array System Toolbox. I want to show you how easy it is to generate a radar data cube using MATLAB in the Phased Array System Toolbox. You can find a good description of the radar data cube in Fundamentals of Radar Signal Processing by Mark Richards. In this book, he describes the radar data cube as a convenient way to represent a collection of received radar signals built up sample by sample in space and time. Now, once the received data is put into this data cube format, Various signal processing techniques can be used to enhance the target returns and extract range, speed, and bearing information from the data. These techniques include algorithms such as pulse compression, Doppler processing, and beamforming. So to build up a radar data cube, we'll need a few things. We'll start with a single pulse that's reflected off the target. The received data is sampled in time. The samples can be used to calculate the distance to the target. These time samples are sometimes called range bins, and they make up the y-axis of the data cube. This is referred to as the fast time dimension because the sampling rate can sometimes be pretty high, from the tens of megahertz to a gigahertz or higher. A single radar target reflection will often be collected in an array of receive elements. Each one of these elements makes up an individual channel, which makes up the x dimension of the radar data cube in the figure. Spatially sampling the receive signals like this will allow us to determine the bearing of the target if we use algorithms like beamforming and direction of arrival estimation. Now, you might be transmitting and receiving multiple pulses in a selected direction at a rate called the pulse repetition frequency. The time base for a collection of pulses is sometimes called the coherent processing interval. Now, this will be a much slower rate than the range gate sampling, so pulse repetition frequencies of 1 to 10 kilohertz would be a typical range. This is the dimension of the radar data cube that is sometimes called the slow time dimension. The information you get from this collection of data is something you can use to determine the speed of the target. Well, let's take a look at how we can do this in MATLAB. Okay, we'll see that it's relatively easy to generate pulse waveforms, reflect the pulses off the target, and collect the received signals into the radar data cube. Now, here's the MATLAB code that we can use to build our own radar data cube. We'll take a look at some phased array system toolbox functions and system objects that can be used to create a target at a 30 kilometer distance and 150 meter per second speed. Now there's another phased array system toolbox object here that we can use to create an eight element array. So our data cube will have eight receive channels. Now here's our waveform, which is a swept FM pulse with a 10% duty cycle. You can see the sample rate for this waveform is 1 megahertz, and the PRF is 1 kilohertz. This means there will be a thousand samples per radar pulse. This will make up the time dimension of our radar data cube. Now I'll run this piece of code, and you'll see it takes about 40 lines of code. What we've created are the MATLAB objects, which can be seen in MATLAB workspace window over here. Now these are the objects we'll use to simulate and generate our radar data cube. Now the actual generation of the radar data cube only takes about 15 lines of code. You can see it in the simulation loop here that uh, there are 32 pulses. This is the size of the loop shown right here. Now this loop generates the radar pulse and updates the target position and propagates the pulse we generated and reflects off the target and propagates back to the radar. Now all of these returns are collected, uh, they're actually collected right here, and the radar data cube can be assembled at this point. When I run this piece of code, I produce my radar data cube. We can see over here that the dimension of the radar data cube is here, and there are complex IQ samples that are collected at the array. And the dimensions are 1,000 time samples by 8 receive elements by 32 pulses. And this is a plot of the signal received for one data channel for the entire 32 pulse duration. Now, you might think that the first simulation was a small uh, data cube. So let's increase the complexity a little bit. This next example, instead of having one target, we're going to have 20 targets with random positions and velocity. Our receive array will be 121 elements mounted on the surface of a sphere. Also, we've increased our bandwidth of the waveform from 1 megahertz to 20 megahertz to give us additional resolution. Now, the initialization is a few more lines of code than in our previous example. You can see the array geometry that we have in this plot here. You can also see the loop to build this data cube is identical uh, to the previous example. The only difference is 
that the values that we pass in for the RCS and the positions are vectors instead of a, just a single value for, for a single target. And we'll go ahead and execute this code to generate our new data cube. We can see the dimensions of the new data cube, 20,000 time samples across 121 receive elements and 32 pulses. Now the dimensions have grown, but it's still easy to generate. Now if you're interested in uh, how we can process a radar data cube to determine the range, speed, and bearing from this data cube, please watch part two of this recording titled Processing the Radar Data Cube. You can find this on our website at the Phased Array System Toolbox product page. Thank you very much for your time.